Hey guys, welcome to another 360 tour. This time, we're going to check out the lifeboat. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend watching the non-360 video first, so you have a much better orientation. To start off, we are directly under the lifeboat. To the right side, we have the winch and wire drums that controls the David. You'll notice there are two wires, one thick and one thin. The thick one runs along the lifeboat's cradle and holds the boat's weight while the thin one is a remote control wire connected to the brake governor. The brake governor is the square shaped counterweight that when lifted up, releases the brakes for the lifeboat so that it can be lowered. There is a hydrostatic pressure plate on the bottom of the lifeboat. It's there so that the operator can only release the lifeboat once it's in contact with the water. That way, we can prevent the boat from being dangerously released airborne and smash into the sea. There is a manual override for this, which we will check out later once we are inside the boat. Moving to the bow, we can see more of the lifeboat and David. There is a limit switch for the cradle to avoid winding up too much and break itself. Turnbuckles for securing the boat in place. They are designed in such a way that it will automatically be released when lowering the lifeboat. Painter line is tied to hold the boat steady. Now we are at the life raft. There is not much to see other than the securing pin, which when pulled lowers the ramp so you can toss the life raft into the sea. For those unfamiliar, the life raft has an air bottle inside that, when submerged, will automatically inflate itself. Unfortunately, I can't open one up to show you because it's a one-time use only. Moving to the above deck, we can see the forward and side hatch. The fore and aft securing pin on the cradle lever arms are the two other pins that need to be pulled out in addition to the brake governor pin. Once the cradle lever arm are released, the data is then free to move and be lowered. Aft point of view, with the top hatch opened, here we have a better angle on the release hook. It's a complicated mechanism, and different companies use a different one so be sure to check your manuals. And now we enter through the aft hatch. The camera is sitting on the coning seat, or in simple terms, the driver's seat. Underneath the seat is the compartment for a lifeboat diesel engine. In front is the control panel. On it, the engine ignition, steering wheel, throttle, magnetic compass, lights, hydrostatic release, and painter release. If I could just grab your attention onto me, you see this thin wire? It's the same thin remote control wire that runs down to the brake governor, which means if we pull on this, the lifeboat day will start lowering. Moving to the port side of the boat, you can tell it's not exactly spacious or comfortable. It makes sense, since it's only for emergency. The center is blocked off by structural reinforcements. We do have paddings and cushions around, but I still bump myself a few times moving around in such a cramped space. The lifeboat equipments are mostly stored under the seats in compartments. Now at the bow looking back at aft, here we get a clear angle on both sides. The seats are painted in black spots so that even when under panic and stress, the crew can quickly find a spot. The boat is designed for 30 people. The structure might seem all plasticky, but it's actually glass reinforced plastic or GRP, a very strong material able to withstand crashing waves, similar to fiberglass. Lastly, we are at the starboard side. Not much different from the port side, except we have the side hatch, which you saw earlier from outside. There are a total of four hatches. They can function as a lookout spot, air ventilation, fishing, or repair work, or just anything that requires a person to pop out. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you got any suggestion to make my 360 videos more engaging. As always, if you got any questions, leave it down in the comments below. Join the discussion, and I'll see you next time.